someone um, who actually had a stroke. And so um, when they have a stroke, you know, their, their movement on one hand or the other is, is uh, difficult. And we were just helping this person get back to improve their quality of life. So super cool. Thank on you. To you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to start the Instagram. Yep. Okay. Give me one second. All right. We are good to go. Happy Friday, everyone. We've made it through a week and today we are going to do our normal ish workout, but we're going to incorporate a fair bit more mobility into our practice. Um, mobility being defined as the ability to control one's joints. So flexibility, we think muscle length, muscle um, flexibility, as opposed to mobility is more about our joints. So it's a lot of different variations of circles and kind of funky movements. So go ahead and get your cycle started if you have not already done so. And we're going to start today at the very top of our body, thinking about our neck. Um, and I believe it's in Japan, Steve can correct me if I'm wrong. They actually do this practice as part of Katsu Beauty. Uh, we're not doing it for the beauty effect so much as just kind of loosening up our neck joint. So go ahead and release your hands down by your sides and just start to rock your ears side to side, shoulder to shoulder, creating some nice length in each side of the neck. And each time you do it, start and drop your ear down a little bit lower. Good. A couple more, just loosening everything up. All right, and come back to center. Now let's start to draw a circle with our neck. So we drop the chin into the chest. I drop my right ear over to my right shoulder. Imagine you're dragging the back of the head along the back. As you bring it around, drop left ear to left shoulder and bring the chin into the chest. So let's take two more like that. Right ear to right shoulder, moving the back of the head along the back, left ear to left shoulder and back through center. Take one more as slowly as you can, widening that circle and the movement, keeping the shoulders released away from the ears. And we'll come back through center, give the shoulders a quick shrug. And we're gonna take four the other direction. So chin into the chest, left ear to left shoulder, drag the back of the head along the back as you come through, right ear, right shoulder back to center, one more together, left ear to left shoulder, move around and through it, and bring your head back to center, and take two more on your own, widening that movement, and I oftentimes hear from people who have like neck and shoulder pain, and these circles can really help to alleviate a lot of that by not only working the joint, but stretching the surrounding muscles, so just starting from the top of the head down today. All right, last one. And then bring it back through center. So let's move from the neck into our shoulders. Start by extending your arms out to the sides and then bring palms facing down. And then we're gonna work into it. Right palm starts to wrap up towards the ceiling as far as you can. Left palm wraps down towards the floor. We're gonna twist it out, reaching through the fingertips for six, five, four, three, Two, opposite direction, wring the arms out like a washcloth. Good, squeeze and reach, six, five, four, three, two. One more set, rotate through it, should be intense. We have six, five, four, three, two, and last one, squeeze, six, five, four, three, and two. Release it, roll the shoulders out. One more set for the shoulders, and then we'll come down and do some bicep strengthening work. We come up like a cactus or a scarecrow, whichever you prefer. I find my left hand. I start to drop it down towards the floor. Now make sure your elbow doesn't get sleepy here. Keep it in line with the shoulder. Find your right hand, press it back behind you. So I'm almost have robot arms twisting my arms in opposite direction. Six, five, keep growing taller. Four, three, two, and twist the other way. Check those elbows. Squeeze it out, six, five, four, three, 
four, three, two. Last set, elbows up, rotate, use your core. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Six, five, four, three, and two. Shoulders should be starting to feel a little bit tired and that's what we want because we're also building strength. Uh, working into the wrist for mobility and forearm strength, I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to start with my right hand. Left arm comes across the body to keep it stable. You're going to start to draw circles with the wrist. And notice that I have my hand and my forearm to keep the forearm moving at all. I want you to keep drawing a bigger and bigger circle each time. And this we're going to do for time. So we've got 40 seconds. We're going. We're really twisting through the right wrist. Bands are pumping. Doing our best to keep our forearm parallel with the ceiling the whole time. And if done slowly and with enough bodily resistance, these really start to torch the forearm. Yes, take it nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Good, last 10. Keep that forearm parallel with the ceiling for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch arms. Left arm into the body, grab it with the right arm for stability, and we're rolling through that circle. Nice. Good, bigger and bigger each time. And Steve, if you don't mind, it sounds like not everyone's on mute, so if we could just pop everyone on mute so we don't get a lot of background noise. Good. Notice that my forearm always tends to twist here, so really keep it stable. Go ahead and make those circles even bigger. Let's see where we're at. Good. Last 10, big as you can. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Super important to work the wrists. They're a joint we use all day, every day, and we never give it enough love. So on that note, let's take a quick wrist stretch before we keep going. So a lot of things we do with our wrists, we are writing, we're typing, we're driving, our hands are pressed back like this, even when we're in plank. So let's give our wrist a stretch a different direction. I'm gonna find my left palm, face the fingertips down towards the floor. Now, keeping the bend out of the elbow, take the right hand and gently press the fingertips back as you push the base of the hand away from you. Feels a little funky, it's a small joint, that's what we want. Kind of a nice counteraction to all the planks that we do in our workouts, not to mention the rest of the stuff we do in our daily lives. Press the base of the hand away from you. Keep pulling the fingertips in. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a roll. Coming out of this can feel a little weird. It's a small joint. It doesn't always feel awesome, but it is really good for us. Let's do the other side. Right hand comes forward. Fingertips point down to the floor. Take the left hand. Gently guide it in. Now, we don't want to slouch out. As we pull the fingertips in, we press the base of the wrist out. So it's a counteraction. Yeah, that's it. Good. Six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a twirl. Okay, we're gonna come down onto the floor for some uh, dolphin push-ups, or also known as overhead push-ups, specifically targeting our triceps. So these are great because they not only work the triceps, the backs of the arms, so with Katsu, we work baby muscles, bigger muscles, but we also get to work range of motion in our spine, in our hamstrings. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is normal push-up position. For our dolphin push-ups, I come up like this, and then I tuck my chin into my chest. I want to drop my head towards the floor, push it away. Now, I'm not leading with my chest. I'm leading with the top of my head. So there's a long line from my tailbone to the very top, and I go down. Up, down, up, okay? So let's set ourselves up. We're also getting a nice stretch across the back and the back of the legs. If being in this position just does not feel good or natural, you can always do a diamond push-up on your knees. You're still working the triceps. You need to have a little bit more support, okay? So picking your position of choice for 40 seconds. If you're picking the dolphin push-up, your hips are up and back. Time is rolling. Tuck the chin, drop the head down. Push the floor away. Drop the head down. Push the floor away. Keep working through it. I'm going to see who we've got on today. Nice job, Instagram. Welcome to our daily workout. Jim, good. Tuck your chin a little bit more. Yes. 
Oh, beautiful. Bonnie, fantastic. Dean, I don't believe I've met you before. Nice to have you on our workout. Good, Diane. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. George, you embodied that fantastically. So for our second set, the only thing I would recommend is I'm noticing that some of us as we're in this position, we're kind of looking forward because that's a natural thing to want to do to see where we're going. Try and do your best to drop your gaze back behind you. So you want to look between your feet, keeping the back of the neck long so we're not crunching up, okay? So let's try another set. Other than that, those look great. Lift your hips up and back. Take your gaze between your legs and then start to drop your head down. Up, down, and up. We're going. Speed does not matter each time. Just working through range, getting your head lower and lower. Nice. Good. Much better. Making sure we're breathing. <laughs> Looks like we've got Elliot on here, who I've not met. Welcome to class. Quentin looks good. I see Jeff, Sophia, and Sydney. A lot of our usual suspects. Good. Last 10 seconds. Tuck that chin in even more, top of the head. Ooh, there we go. Lisa looks good. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Come on up. You can either come to stand or come on to your knees. User's choice. We're going to do bicep curls. Okay. Elbows come into the midline of the body. I curl in and down. We know these. We've done them a bunch of times. If you want to up your cycle to be a little bit harder here, you can. Imagine you're picking up really heavy weights, all right? On your mark, get set. Here we go. We're curling in, lower, in, lower. And as you're doing this, I'm not letting my arms fully straighten because I want to keep the bicep muscles contracted, squeezing against the bands the whole time. And I'm not only pulling my fists in towards my shoulders, but I'm also actively pulling my elbows in towards the midline of the body. Curl and curl. And sometimes when I do this, I tend to kind of lean into it. Nice, tall chest. Only those arms are doing the work. Yeah. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Our next set, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit and go faster. On your mark, get set, 40 seconds. In, in, in. Go for full fatigue. So a lot of the exercises we do are body weight. This is just the band. So go for it. See if you can max out your biceps. Go, go, press. Yes, there we go. 15 more seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the last bicep thing we're doing. We have nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, good. Next up, we're gonna come down onto our forearm for sh forearm plank shoulder circles. Now, I have a very particular way that I want us to try and do these. So, we're gonna go for slow, precise over speed. So, you're gonna make your way into forearm plank. I'm gonna fully extend my arm forward. So I want it straight in line with my ear. I take it all the way back around and I set it down. So one more time, we're gonna alternate uh, sides, but I'll demonstrate with my left arm again. I extend that arm straight in line with my ear. I bring it all the way back and around and then I set it down. So no rocking and none of this like half thing. I want that arm to stay straight the entire time until it glides right back down onto the mat. Alternating sides, we're meeting forearm plank. On your mark, get set. 40 seconds, take it slow. Ooh, looks good. And it's hard work to isolate the shoulder joint and only that joint while keeping the rest of the body stable. It requires a lot of strength. Ooh, Lily, amazing. Yeah. So happy. Hi, Chris. <laughs> awesome, George. Everyone is firing on all cinders. These look beautiful. Cylinders. I don't know what a cinder is. Last 10. 
Uh huh. Good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Perfect. Come up. Both arms up and overhead. Take a stretch. Double arm reach back and behind. So we're doing exactly the same thing that we're doing in forearm plank here, just with both arms. Let's go ahead and make our way down into forearm plank. Second set. So those who I can see, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Uh, ready, set, 40 seconds. Next set, we reach out all the way back and set it down. Mm -hmm. Nice. And sometimes the hips have a tendency to kind of want to pop up and pike here. Keep pulling your heels back through the nice long line of your spine. Awesome, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. After this, we're going to take a quick rest and a spine stretch and then make our way up for a plank exercise. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody drop your hips. Root the forearms into the floor. Option to hold here. Now notice that my back is in a bend, also known as spinal extension. Flexions when we round out, extensions when we bend. Option to root the base of the hands into the floor, push away from you and come up for a little deeper stretch. Yes. Good, come back down onto your forearms. Now you can either hold here getting the spine stretch or we're just gonna take 10 seconds where you can either work yourself up and down if you want a little bit more. And as we're doing this, we're squeezing the glutes, the backs of the legs to support our back here. So just how we took that alternate bend with our wrist, we're doing the same thing with our spine. We spend a lot of time kind of rounded out. We're just allowing it to lengthen. Good, and rest. Now next exercise. We're pretty simple. I come into plank. I want you to press your hips up and back in yoga. We call this downward facing dog and then shift back into plank. The magic here is as you press your hips up and back, I want you to get your belly closer to your thighs each time you do it. So I go all the way back and forward. Try and get it even further and forward. We're gonna do our two 40 second sets. We have one more exercise and then we're gonna get our heart rate up and switch out our bands. So make your way into plank. We're going in three two, and one. Shift your hips all the way up and back behind you and shift forward into plank. If this is too much on your arms, you can do it on your knees. So I'm going to shift my butt back towards my heels, slightly different stretch, but still getting range of motion in my thighs and shift forward. I pull my butt back further and further each time I do it. And you can take half and half. <laughs> Jeff asked, how did John Doolittle become a commanding officer in Navy SEAL? <laughs> I don't have all those answers. That's a Steve question. Good, last four. Three, two, and one. Nice, rest. Those look good. All right, one more set. As you do it, try and get your heels closer and closer towards the floor. Now, I'm not talking they have to be fully glued down, but you've got the idea. Each time you press back, drop your heels a little bit lower and shift forward. We press back, drop, and shift forward. Time is rolling, second set. And as we're doing this, we're also building a lot of range of motion in our shoulders, which is why we're doing it with the arm band bond. Ideal range of motion in the shoulders is to be able to get your arms straight up and overhead without bending the elbows. And a lot of times I see that people can't quite do that. So we're working into that with the weight of the body to help us get a little bit deeper, maybe a lot deeper. Yes, Jim, awesome. Last 10 seconds. Wayne looks good. Good, really working through it. I like the pace we're going. Everyone's moving slow for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Last exercise of the day with our bands on is plank to floor circles. So we're doing a lot of things with our arms today that involve doing this or some variation of this. That's how we build mobility. So I come into plank position or a plank on my knees. I come all the way down. I reach my arms up, down, up, 
back into plank. I come down. I reach out. Down. Out. Plank. Totally fine to do this on your knees. Okay? We're going for slow. So as you lower down from plank onto your belly, go as slowly as you can. Flat spine. Reach the arms out, the legs out. Bring them all the way down by your side. Squeeze your shoulder blades all the way back up straight. Then plug them in, press back up, okay? First set, go. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming from plank position. I'm coming down really slowly. I reach my arms and my legs in opposite direction. I bring the arms down, squeeze your shoulders, reach them back up. Root them into the floor and press right back up. Yes. And this requires some core strength. Good, Lily. Mm -hmm. Keep the arms straight the whole time. Last six. See if you can do one more for four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Press your hips up and back into that downward facing dog position. Take a big old generous bend in your knees. And walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Let's roll up the stand to get our heart rate up. And then we'll switch out our bands and have the question of the day. Let me aim this up so I can see this. Sweet. Good job. Mobility, the slow stuff, but not necessarily the easy stuff. All right. Our three moves to get our heart rate soaring today are high knee overhead punch. My knees are up. I'm punching up. Then we have overhead jacks up. Up, up, notice a lot with the arms up and overhead, increasing that range of motion. And lastly, also getting the arms up, inchworms. I walk out, I walk back, let me see that jump. I walk out, I walk back, and we jump. Woo, losing my stuff. All right, first up, high knee overhead punch. 30 seconds, ready, set, go. Get those knees up. Get those arms up. Yeah. Good, working through it. These ones we wanna go as fast as we can, get our heart rate going. Woo, try to dance. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead jack, out and in, go. Right on those toes, but keep those legs moving. Up, up. I love it. Good. Half done. Then we're coming down for some inchworms, and we're going to swap out our bands and have a big old sip of water. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk to the back of your workspace. Inchworms. Here we go. I walk out. I walk in. I jump up. Let me see you move. Woo! Get those arms up overhead. Yes! <laughs> there we go. I see someone on here, DA, who I don't think I've met. Nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Fantastic. Last 10 seconds. Let me see if you can do one, maybe even two more for seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. We have accomplished our arm workout for the day. Let's remove our bands, swap them out, big sip of water, and move on to our legs. Looks like there's some questions in the chat. Do, 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 do. Okay, Steve's addressing this. All right. Question of the day is, what is, we haven't really talked about quarantine too much. We've talked about our favorite flavors of ice cream, <laughs> one word to describe ourselves, peanut butter, jelly, and everything in between. So I will ask one question pertaining to our current time. Uh, the question of the day is, what is your favorite weekend activity to do uh, in our current state of our country? And I'll go first. Mine is hiking. I'm very glad that they have opened up trails in Los Angeles because it was a sad day when I couldn't go outside and do that. Uh, what else have we got? Give me your answers. 
Quentin says, swimming open water at Walden Pond. That's really cool. That's really cool. What else? Kayaking. Kayaking. That's a good one. Where do you kayak? Uh, a Willamette River or a Columbia River. Oh, nice. Are you in Oregon? Portland. Portland. Okay. Yeah, yes. cool. All right. Wayne says mountain biking. He says walking along the beach on PCH in Huntington Beach. Chris says canoeing. Chris also says cat soup. Canoeing. Who would have thought? We all like doing kind of active things. Hmm. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> and everyone outside. <laughs> Dance and hiking. Yeah. Hmm. It's almost like we all have a common thread here of enjoying to do really active stuff outdoors. Hey, Steve, question for you that I actually don't know the answer to. In terms of hiking, uh, what would be the appropriate, uh, not etiquette, but if you wanted to wear bands during hiking, would it be best to do it for the duration of the hike or to wait until after and just use them for recovery? Uh, both, actually. I would I okay. would put the cut cycle on low mm -hmm. um, and then just um, with a conservative pressure, meaning you don't tighten them up too much. Uh -huh. and keep on pushing the group below and you'll get mm -hmm. so much benefit out of that. Your, your legs will feel like rocks afterwards. Rock. Oh, good. <laughs> then when Great. You get home, when you get home, you can tighten them a little bit tighter and just do one or two cycles to recover. Cool. If and how act, long would you want to wear them hiking? Like, is I, there a maximum? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do it over an hour. Okay. Um, uh, for myself, I wouldn't do it much more than that because you're doing cut cycle, so it's not constant pressure. Right. Uh, and that's why you want it low. But make sure you are very well hydrated when you do that. That's very cool. Cool. Yes. Um, so I if you're very well hydrated, one downside is if you're very well hydrated and you do katsu, you will have to urinate. <laughs> While you're hiking. <laughs> well, and yeah. So... <laughs> Keep that in mind. All right, got it, cool. Um, I see Sophia says, or Sydney, I don't know which who answered this, but swimming the pier at Seal Beach. Cool, all right, <coughs> I like it, okay. Well, I love these answers, they're great. I had no idea, you know, we've learned a lot about ourselves and our co, fitness katsu band <laughs> enthusiast over the last couple of weeks and we vary in a lot of ways but it turns out we all like to do very similar things on the weekend so that's really fun um all right let's start standing with our leg bands on if you've not already had some water please have some uh if anyone is new to these workouts and this is your first time joining us by all means you can uh, ask questions via chat, either shoot me a message or you can shoot Steve a message and we're happy to answer any questions too. Um, we've all been doing this for a couple weeks now, but you know, jump on in and you will quickly get the hang of things. Uh, so, stands are on, cycles are going. We're gonna start with some standing hip circles. So, if you need something to hold on to for balance, by all means, grab a chair or a wall. Otherwise, rooting your weight into your left leg, I pull my right leg up into the chest. Now, this can vary how high it is based on your balance. Now, keeping your body stable, start to open that knee out to the right. Good. Drop the knee down. Pull your heel in towards your butt. And then bring it back to center. So I'm doing a couple things here. I'm externally rotating the leg in the hip socket. I'm internally rotating the leg in the hip socket. I'm extending the leg back in the hip socket, and then I'm pulling my knee into the chest. So making it one fluid motion, I go out, down, back, and up without letting the rest of the body move. And just like all of our other circles, we wanna keep widening that range of motion isolating the leg in the hip socket and by all means grab something to hang on to if you want this is a balance centric exercise two more 
and it just doesn't quite make sense, just draw some kind of circle with your leg in your hip socket and you're doing the work. That's perfect. Good, and rest. Let's work into the other leg, rooting all the weight to the right leg. Pull the left leg up. Open it out to the left. Now the body's gonna wanna twist and move. Don't let it do it. We're isolating this. Start to pull the knee down. Heel comes up, internal rotation. Heel comes back, knee comes in. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now take two or three more and try and make it as fluid as you can. That internal rotation part is funky, might be kind of new and it might feel really strange, that's why we're doing it. Last one. Good, and rest. Hands to the hips, draw some big old circles, releasing the hips and the spine. And also for anyone who might be new today, on Fridays we typically work out, but we take it a little bit slower. Uh, it's more of a recovery day. Circle around the other way. Because we've been going really hard all week. And bring it back through center. Now, just like arm bands, we want to make sure our leg bands are nice and tight. Uh, for these ones, find the outer edges, your tubing. Give it a nice hoist up so we have a slight angle of our band. And we want to work smaller muscles and then bigger muscles. So we're going to start with our calves. So I call this heels up, butt down. I pick my heels up, I drop my butt down, and I work my way out of it. I go up, down, up, down. And just try and go as low as you can, okay? Even if the move is just getting your heels up and down, work through it, that's how we go stronger. So first set, 40 seconds, here we go. Heels up, butt down. We rise and we lower. Keep going. Nice. Using our core. Beautiful. Yes. Nice, Chris. Good. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. We've got it. Same thing, we're gonna do it again. This time, just try and get your butt lower and lower. Good, feet are parallel. We're going in three, two, one. Heels up, get as low as you can. Come back up, heels down. Nice. Things are gonna be a little bit wobbly. Last 20 seconds, half done. Sophie and Sydney, awesome. Yes. Last 10, see how low you can go. We're gonna work into it at the bottom. We have six, five, four, three, two. Everybody, heels up, little pulses at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift and hold. Last thing, drop your butt as low as you can. Pulse it down and up, eight. Seven, heels up, six, five, four, three, two, and rise. Ooh, got a little crazy at the bottom. All right, let's get our heart rate up, but this time with a leg exercise. It is a plank jack. I come back into plank, a lot of plank today. Sorry, gang. I go out, in, out, in. Alternative, step, step. The goal here is to get the legs as far out as you can, back in. As far out as you can, back in, okay? Speed's up to you, but I wanna see you jump wide. If you're not jumping, I wanna see you step wide. 40 seconds, ready, set, go. Get your heart rate up. You can step, step, or let me see you jump. Jump, yeah, why not? Add that jump if you're comfortable with it. Jumping is good for, Increasing bone density as long as we do it nice and gentle. So no pounding on those joints. Woo! Go Diane. 
core is working to keep the upper body stable. Perfect. I'm looking at all of you and you've got it. Last 15 seconds. Making sure we're breathing. That's it. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six. Go Wayne. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees rest. Okay. We got one more set. We're going to go right into it. On your mark. Get set. Let's go. Playing jacks. Out and in. I don't care how fast you go. Get your legs nice and far out. And then if you want to add speed, by all means, add speed. But we're isolating our hips, getting them out. The rest of the body stays as still as possible. So we don't need to be bouncing around. We just need to be jumping to the best that we got. We are more than half done. 15 more seconds. And then we're going to come up, take a sip of water, and move on to our next exercise. So we get a little rest in nine, eight, seven, six. Go get five, four, three. Two and one. Everybody hop on up to stand. Grab your water. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. Restart your cycle if you need to do that now. And I know, as Steve mentioned, when we wear our bands, especially for activities like hiking, we want to be really hydrated. And that's something that I fall guilty of not doing a good enough job of. So good recommendation. Before you do your workout, try and drink a glass this big of water. Okay? And then we'll take little sips of another glass throughout our work. This next exercise is so weird. It's so bizarre, but it's fantastic for our mobility. And I'll explain why. When I stand like this, my feet are facing forward. My legs are in neutral rotation in my hip sockets. So I'm doing things, right? I'm walking, I'm running, I'm bicycling. All of these things are in neutral. And a lot of times people can get lower back pain because we're not moving our hips around enough. So everything gets kind of locked up. So this is neutral. If I angle my toes out, external rotation, okay? My legs are externally rotated in my hip sockets. If I angle my toes in, very bizarre, internal rotation. We do not do this very much, but it's an important part of keeping the hips loose and limber and keeping ourselves able to move. Also, if our leg ever goes into internal rotation and we practice this movement, we don't break, we just bend. So, with all that being said, it's a lot. Feel free to ask more after. I'm going to come into a squat position. Now, I want you to go as low as you can go. This is your body. You know that safe angle. I'm going to start to drop alternating knees down to the floor. So I'm in slight external rotation, and I'm taking alternating legs into internal rotation. Now, in an ideal world, you'd be going down, up, down, up but I practice this a lot and do not expect that. So whatever your variation looks like, little bend of the knees, 40 seconds, we're going. Down, in, down, in. My body does not move. I'm twisting that leg as far as I can down towards the floor. It feels super weird. Try it, that's all I ask, okay? And this is the exact same movement we were doing when we were standing and we rotated that knee down. So we practice, our bodies are able to do this. And as you keep moving, see if you can sink your butt a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. If for some reason this just does not feel safe on your knees, I want you to do air squats. At least get some external rotation in there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay? We're gonna do that same thing again, remember, if you have knee issues and this just does not feel safe, you know it's best, come into an air squat instead, okay? My feet are at least externally rotated. We're getting some mobility in there. Otherwise, make your way into a squat position. Get nice and low. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Alternating knee drops, side to side. Down, up, down, up. My body is not moving. Yeah. Nice. I'm noticing a little bit of shifting and rocking in a couple of people, but other than that, these look really great. See if you can sink your butt lower. It requires a lot of core work too, just to keep yourself stable. Yes. It's one of the weirdest exercises we do. Nice, Lisa. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get our heart rates up. 30 seconds. High knee. 
Overhead punch, ready, go. Up, up. Loosen everything up. Good, run it out. Get those knees all the way up. Punch, punch, punch. That's the stuff. Woo! <laughs> yes, last 10. Run it out. We have one more heart rate boost after this one. For five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead down. Up, up. Keep those arms straight. Up, up. Yes. Same thing as our plank jack. We're jumping those feet really wide. We're just adding an overhead toss in there. Reach, reach. Yes, half to them. Pick it up. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the back of your workspace. Inchworms, we're going. Walk it out. Walk it up. Let me see you jump. Walk it out. Walk it in. And we jump. Keep going, keep going. Woo! All right, last 10. Let me see you do two more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have two more exercises to go. Then we're gonna pop the bands off and do some mobility work. So next exercise is called lunge hinge. So I drop my back knee down towards the floor. And you can even set the knee down on the floor. I tuck my back toes. I try and keep that leg in the 90 degree angle. I hinge forward and then I come slowly, get it down. I come up, hinge forward and slowly drop it down. Now, this can be a varying degree of difficulties. If this is just too hard, it's not gonna happen. Take some of the angle out of that back leg and make it a little easier, okay? And it can even be like a baby lift and tap. If you can though, get that knee down. As you come up, keep pulling your heel in towards your butt, bring it down and lower, okay? All right, starting with only one side, right foot is back, left foot is forward, we're going. Good, I bring it all the way up. And then I pull my knee in as close as I can, tap it down and all the way up. Varying degrees, be patient with yourself. But also challenge yourself. That's why we're here, that's why we're doing this. Ooh, yes. I see the focus and I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Last five, four, three, two, and one. I am beside myself. Those were so awesome. All of our work doing balance throughout the last couple of weeks has absolutely paid off because those look great. Let's do the other leg. So let's start getting that left knee as low to the floor as we can. And everyone was doing it so well. I saw the focus and we were working on taking it slow and getting the back knee down, controlling our bodies instead of just working through it really fast. So let's try our second set. Go ahead and come up. Pull it in and then get that back knee all the way down. We come up, pulling that back heel in and getting as low as we can, tap and come up. And this might look a little different for different people, but you've got the idea, you have the motion, you're doing it. Everyone who I see working looks great and I can see everyone who has video, last 10. Game. I didn't want to call anyone out because I didn't want to distract you, but these look so great. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last cardio burst of the day. Then we have one more exercise, and then we're taking some much deserved rest. High knees, overhead punch. Let's go. And because our exercise is so good, we're gonna call this a victory dance. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Knees even higher, come on. 
Woo! That's 10. All out. This is our last one of the day. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and overhead jack. Let's go. Arms all, all the way up. We did not do that much work on our upper body to get sloppy with these. Up, up. There we go. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and inch ones. Back of your floor space. We are going. I walk out. I walk in. Jump. Keep going. Woo, I'm breathing hard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After this, we're going to take some water. We're going to do an alternative burpee. And we're gonna congratulate ourselves. Last six, five, one more, four, three, two, and one. Okay. One minute of what I call alternative mobility burpees. So I start in a plank position for this one. I reach my right arm forward. I reach my left arm forward. I either step or hop my feet up. I rise up to stand. I come down in a squat position, so I'm not rounding up my back. I lower down with my butt and I either step or hop back. So let me show you. Reach, reach, step or hop, squat, rise, squat, step or hop back. Okay, and I'll take the first ones with you. So I'm opening up my shoulders and I'm opening up my hips while I engage my core. One minute, we can do it. All right. Let's go. Either step or hop up. I skipped it. I skipped something entirely. Reach, reach, step or hop up. Squat one, rise, squat two, step or hop back. Reach, reach, step or hop up. Squat one, rise, squat two, make your way back. Create an exercise. Forgot how to do my own exercise, we're half done. Yes, yes. All the way up. Let me see that reach as you come up. Get into those shoulders again. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. One or two more. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bands off, shake it out, move around. Because we used our bands for our exercises, our capillaries, everything is nice and stretched out. And we do not need to wear these for our stretches. And we normally do a very brief stretch with our bands on, but today we're gonna take about a five minute active mobility workout. So come down onto your hands and knees again. I promise, no more plank. Take the knees nice and wide, and notice that your heels are in line with your knees. So my toes are peeking out to the side. Now, if this is too much for your knees to be here, I want you to come into a wide-legged seat. And when we shift backwards and forwards, I want you to tip forwards and backwards, okay? So coming into a frog position, my heels are in line with my knees. I just start to rock my butt back and rock my butt forward. Rock it back, rock it forward. We're in external rotation of the legs and the hip sockets, and we're also getting a big stretch of the adductor, the inner thigh muscles. Gentlemen, we can also call this groin. It's tight, it doesn't feel great. That's exactly why we do it. Four more. Three, keep pressing your butt back further. Two, now press your butt back. Let's work into it. Lift your right foot off the floor. Set it down. Lift your left foot. Set it down. We're marching. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down onto your forearms. Keep pressing your butt back. I know it does not feel good. Work through it. Breathe through it. 30 second hold here. Keep pushing your butt back towards your heels. Now, if you're in the wide legged stretch instead, hinge forward, hold it, work into it here. Nice, straight spine, wherever you are. Breathe as slowly as you can. Tell your body, 
It's okay. Yeah. Last 10 seconds, pressure butt back even more or hinge forward even more. Yes, relax your fingers and toes. We're gonna make our way out of it together. Keep your knees exactly where they are. Start to make your way back onto your hands. And then slowly, gently wiggle your knees together. Rock your hips side to side. Whew. Good. All right, so we're back on our hands and knees. We're gonna step the left foot up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring the hands to the front of the thigh. And we're gonna bend into that front knee, opening up the entire front of the right quad and hip flexor. Now, no slouching. Chest up, hips down. Create that line between your belly button and your chin. Keep making it longer by growing taller. Now, squeeze this to protect this. Good. Now, let's make it a little bit more active. Back off of it a little bit and press a little deeper. Back off a little, press a little deeper. Last two. On this next one, we're going to press and hold for six, five four, three, and two. Last stretch here. Hands come down to the floor. Straighten that front leg out as best you can, and we're gonna work into it. Big bend in the knee, straighten it out. Big bend into the knee, straighten it out. Remember, hands can move wherever feels good. You can even take one to your thigh. And straighten. We have three. Getting into the hamstrings, we know two. And last one, straighten and hold, drop your chest towards your thigh. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend into that front knee, step it back. Let's work into the other side and then I'll send you on your way for our favorite outdoors weekend activities. Step the right foot up. Hands come onto the side in the pr proposal position Bend into the front knee, lengthening this all out. Chest up, hips down. Squeeze your touch. Let's work into it. Release and bend. We have four, three, two, and one. Press into it and hold. Get your hips even lower for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. One or both hands comes down to the floor. I extend that leg straight. Bend into it. Straighten it out. Bend into it. Straighten out. Four more. Three. Two. We're coming up for the fun part. One. Straighten and hold. Eight. Seven, let the back fully round. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rebend into that knee, step it back. Tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Not another one of these. Yes, another one of these. Pedal your legs out. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet. Forward fold, three breaths. Whew. Last one. And as slowly as you possibly can, roll up to stand. Reach those arms up. 19 more jumping jacks. Just kidding. Bring your palms together. Round of applause. Awesome work. Mobility days are some of my favorite days. Uh, if people have questions, I see a couple in the chat. Feel free to stick around. Otherwise, we'll be back at it Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Bye, gang. Thank you. Bye, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Steve, Steve don't, uh, don't end the meeting quite yet. Uh, okay. There's a couple of questions I want to answer, if that's okay, that people message me. Okay. So we can just give me like a minute. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take care. I got a quick question. Yeah. Um, it seems like my unit goes off like three or four times during the workout, is that normal? And I just turn it back on again? Yes, it, um, the unit is only eight cycles of 30 seconds each, okay. separated by five seconds. 
Okay. So it's roughly, you know, uh, four plus minutes. Okay. So it will always go off after four. It's an automatic shutdown. Gotcha. So, you can't you can't change that, right? No, no. It, it's okay. A, it's for a say, so you have to manually say. Yeah. Okay. Again. I just want to make sure that was right. That's cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. That was it. All right. Take care, Wayne. Thank you. All right. Um, DA, do you have questions too? Feel free to unmute and ask anything you might want to hear. Otherwise, feel free to just uh, 